Welcome to our R programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. They want to know why the set.seed function seems to affect the sample function in R. Specifically, they thought that set.seed only influences random variable generators like rnorm, but they're puzzled about its impact on sampling. Let's dive into this question and uncover the relationship between set seed and sample and see if we can find a way to generate new random samples even after setting a seed. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the role of set.seed in R. The set.seed function is used to set the seed for random number generation, ensuring that you get the same random numbers each time you run your code. In your example, when you call set.seed with a specific number, it initializes the random number generator. This means that any subsequent calls to random functions like rnorm will produce the same output each time. Now, when you use the sample function after setting the seed, it samples from the values generated by rnorm. Since the seed is set, the sampled values will also be the same each time you run the code. To achieve different samples each time while still using sets at seed, you can change the seed before each call to sample. This way, you can control the randomness while still getting new samples. In summary, set seed controls the randomness of your random number generation in R. By managing the seed before each sampling, you can ensure unique samples while maintaining reproducibility. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Instead of resetting the seed to null, it's better to save the current state of the random seed and restore it later. This way, you can maintain control over your random number generation. And that's it, guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.